find an equation of the circle that satisfies the given conditions. I want a circle that has a center at negative 1, 5, and it passes through the point negative 4, negative 6. Okay, so I do have the center. So according to my circle formula, I will have x minus a minus 1 squared plus y minus 5 squared, and that is equal to the radius squared. Now in this first parenthesis, x minus a minus 1, that will be x plus 1. Well, we do not have the radius. I need to know the radius, and then I can put in the r squared, and I will have the equation of my circle. Well, let's think about this. I know the center, and I know that it passes to the point negative 4 and negative 6. Well, let's get a little visual on this. Okay, so the center of my circle is at negative 1, positive 5. I know it passes through the point negative 4, negative 6. Okay, so my circle is going to look something like that. And I need to know the radius. So remember the center is negative 1, positive 5. And I know it goes through the point negative 4, negative 6. So I really need to know the distance from the center to a point on my circle, and that will give me my radius. That is the r. So I need to use a distance formula to find the distance from the center of my circle to a point on my circle. So this is the distance formula. The distance from one point to another is the square root of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 squared plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2 squared. Well, let's do a little bit of work. So I will have the square root of one of the x's minus the other x. I will do negative 1 minus a minus 4, square it, plus one of the y's. I'll start with the same point. So it be 5 minus a minus 6 squared. And, of course, I will take the square root of all of that. That is the distance from the center to a point on my circle. So the distance will equal the square root. I will have negative 1 plus 4, so that would be 3 squared, plus I will have 5 plus 6, that will be 11 squared. So the distance will equal the square root of 9 plus 121, which is equal to the square root of 130. So the distance from the center to a point on my circle is the square root of 130. Okay, so the distance from the center of my circle to a point on my circle is the square root of 130. So that is my radius, the square root of 130. So my formula that we started earlier, x minus a minus 1, that's how I got x plus 1 squared plus y minus 5 in parentheses squared, that was my center, well, is equal to the radius squared. So I can now write the equation of, of my circle. It will be x plus 1 squared plus y minus 5 squared. And that will equal the radius squared. Well, when I square the radius, I will simply get 130. Okay, now we're going to work a problem where we are given the endpoints of the diameter of the circle. So the endpoints of the diameter of this circle is P is negative 1, 1, and Q is 5, 9. Let's get a visual on that. Okay, so we have the point negative 1, 1, and the point 5, 9. And these are both the endpoints of the diameter. My diameter goes all the way across my circle. So this is the point, P is negative 1, 1, and Q is the point, 5, 9. So I don't know what the center is. I also don't know what the radius is. In order to get the center, it is the midpoint of those two points. So let's work on the center first. So I need to know my midpoint formula, and the midpoint, it's a point, of course, and it is one of my x's plus the other one, 
divide that by 2 because I want the middle of those two x's, comma, and one of my y's, add it to the other y, divide it by 2 also. So the midpoint, that will be negative 1 plus 5, that will be 4 over 2, and the y's, 1 plus 9, that will be 10 over 2. I have my center of my circle. It will be 2, 5. Now I also need to get the distance of this diameter. And I do know that the radius is half of the diameter. So let's use our distance formula. So we will have the distance from these two points. It will equal the square root. And I'll start with this point. The x is negative 1 minus the x in the other point is 5, square it, plus that would be 1 minus 9 in parentheses squared. So the distance is going to equal the square root. Negative 1 minus 5, that will be negative 6 squared. 1 minus 9 will be negative 8 squared. When I square a negative 6, I get 36. When I square a negative 8, I get 64. So the distance is equal to the square root of 100, which is equal to 10. Now let's fill in this information. Okay, so we have found that the center of our circle is at about the point 2, 5. And we have also found that the diameter from one end point to the other was 10. But now if the diameter is 10, that means that the radius is half of that. It's equal to 5. From the center to one end point would be 5. And from the center to the other end point is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. And I also have the center of my circle. I am ready to write my equation. It will be x minus 2 squared plus y minus 5 squared, and that's equal to the radius squared. Well, 5 squared is 25.